I've been slacking. I apologize, guys. So that is why you're starting to see a lot of how-tos because there are little things that I have known how to do that I have not made videos on. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to connect iPolo miners to NiceHash. Let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome back, everybody. This should work for all iPolo miners. The nuance or the little bit of change that you need to make when mining with iPolo 2 NiceHash is actually quite simple. We're going to go ahead and go over it real quick. If you are not familiar with NiceHash, you can check out my videos on how to mine to NiceHash in general. And then if you are interested in the iPolos in it as well, there is a Black Friday sale coming up. Of course, I am not sponsored by iPolo, nor do I get any kickbacks or affiliates at this point. Hopefully that will change in the near future. Let's go ahead and talk about getting the information you need from NiceHash. The first thing you're going to need to do is log into your account and then click manage rigs and view stats. I will leave an affiliate link for NiceHash down in the description as well. From here, you're going to click download miner or add ASIC. And then from here, you are going to click add your or connect your ASIC device. Now for the iPolo that we're utilizing today, we are utilizing the iPolo V1 Mini. This miner in particular supports both ET hash and ETC hash. You will need to basically determine which one is more profitable and then select that. Now in nice hash, ET hash is still denoted as dagger Hashimoto. So you would select that. For ETC hash, you would select the ETC hash. Now, in this case, I'm going to do the dagger Hashim Hashimoto, and then I'm going to name my rig iPolo Mini. And then all I need to do is insert this information into the iPolo. To find your iPolo IP address, you can use a popular tool called Advanced IP Scanner. It is completely free. You basically install it and then click the scan button and it will begin to scan your network. When you are looking for the iPolo itself, it should come up by default under iPolo. In some cases, you may have renamed it and they'll come up as something different. You can see here it came up as iPolo and it's 192.168.1.37 on this particular setup. So you can see we are already navigated to there. The default username and password for the iPolos is root and root to get logged in. And then you're going to want to go down to the minor configuration tab. We went over updating the firmware here. I do have to actually pause my antivirus for this particular setup because it tries to download some stuff. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick and refresh. We'll just pause for a little bit. And this is what your page should look like. If you have AV issues, make sure that you go ahead and add a bypass for that particular IP address if you need to make these changes. So since we did the ET hash, we're going to select the coin as ET hash in this particular setup. And then we are going to basically come over here, copy the stratum URL, paste that into the stratum URL right here. We are then going to copy our username and then come over here and paste the username in. And then we are going to have the password as X. The last thing that you need to do is add the notation for nice hash. So you'll do dash dash and nice hash. And that is how you hack the system into supporting nice hash. From here, you can click the save and apply button. And then very shortly, it will go ahead and apply the configuration changes. And then you can go to your running overview to make sure that it goes ahead and starts calculating. Mine's had this interesting alert message with the fan speed low. This goes away after it starts mining. I don't know why it's been here. Typically, if I go check out my error logs and stuff, it seems to clear out. So I'm not too worried about it. Let me know if you're having that issue on some of your iPolo V1 minis as well. So you can also go into the information and make sure that it is connecting, etc. And then you can move on from there. Is a status alive and stratum active true? You'll start to get a difficulty and start to begin to get work. It'll still take a little bit longer for it to start calculating out the hash rate. So you'll have to give it a little time there as well. It will take time to actually fully 
resolve you can go over to your nice hash dashboard and close out of there you'll see a new ad a new ad for a rig and you can scroll down and just confirm that you have the ipolo mini as you named it going ahead and reporting in the device it'll then tell you how much your profitability on that particular device will be etc as it settles out so thanks everybody for watching this how to and if it, you found it helpful at all be sure to hit the like comment subscribe and notification bells down below so you're notified when i have new videos don't forget to check me out on locals for my daily moves at sonofatech.locals.com and don't forget to purchase my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com before it's too late i.e the next bull run which appears to be happening really quick i'll see you next tuesday